entire time that the Saudi kingdom's goal in all this upheaval has been to step up pressure on Iran and Hezbollah. I'm again, Emmanuel, putting you on the spot. The Saudi uh, uh, foreign minister saying today he's, uh, Hariri has not been held a prisoner. What's your take? Has he been free to go or not free to go until the French inter inter intervention? Well, first of all, Hariri is not a free man. In other words, he's the, he was the prime minister of a country that has been controlled by outside forces. Of course, Saudi Arabia supports the Sunnis. Uh, 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 Iran supports the uh, president, who's a Christian, Michel Aoun, but he's actually an ally of the Iranians and of Hezbollah. And none of them are free. And he, he really had to step down because his, uh, his life was threatened by Hezbollah. Again, his father, uh, Harik Hariri, was murdered by Hezbollah in 2005. And obviously, he stepped down because the Saudis uh, demanded this from him. Uh, the uh, the uh, de facto Saudi leader, Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS, has a very proactive, even some would say aggressive foreign uh, policy. And he wants, uh, I mean, so the uh, MBS wants to uh, topple the government, this, uni this unity government in, uh, in Lebanon. Uh, he actually took a risk because this might actually backfire if the government doesn't fall. So this would actually backfire against, um, against uh, Saudi Arabia. But again, Hariri is definitely not a free man. And I know I want to ask you about Iran because there's been so much focus over these last 12 days about Saudi Arabia and Lebanon and what Saudi Arabia's intentions are, which are clearly to clamp down on Iran and Hezbollah. And Iran has been a little bit diplomatic about it. What do you think Iran's next steps are when this is clearly targeting their influence? Absolutely. I think the next step really is to, as I said, to test the Western powers. Obviously, in the context of the nuclear deal, which, as we know, does not deal with the uh, missile program of Iran, I think what Iran is doing now, after this uh, agreement was signed together with the United States and Russia regarding, uh, regarding uh, Syria, is really uh, going to uh, push its presence in Syria, see what the United States is going to test the uh, administration, the uh, Trump administration, to see if this government is going to do anything against Iran and also get and also test the French. Now, the, the Iranian government already uh, answered the French government by saying they're not interested at all in discussing the missile program. So again, they're just testing the West. Mm -hmm. And I must say that so far, uh, they've been very successful in advancing their, their presence in the region. An important bottom line to